then we have a formula and we want to see which of the following statements is true and we are also assuming that m and n are different from zero now if we take this expression m equals n divided by half if we further simplify this first of all we know that we have a denominator of one for this whole number n and if we divide fractions we take the we switch the division sign with a multiplication sign and we multiply by the reciprocal of the second term. So we have m equals n divided by 1. Our first term stays the same. Our division sign turns into a multiplication sign and our second term turns into a reciprocal of 2 over 1. Now if we further simplify this we have m equals 2n because n times 2 gives us 2n. All right, so now let's take a look at our options. Let's take a look at option A. Now, if we replace m, this term, our first term here, m, with 2n, and we continue writing the expression, we have 2n times n is greater than n squared. Now, let's simplify the term on the left-hand side, and n times n gives us 8n squared, so we have 2n squared is greater than n squared. And this statement is true because if we have this coefficient of 2 and these two terms are equal to one another, this 2 means that the left-hand side is 2 times greater than the right-hand side. Therefore, a is the correct answer. Let's see why the other options are incorrect. Let's see what, what b states. n plus 2 is greater than m. So if we plug in the value for m, we have 2n. Now we can subtract n on both sides and we are left with 2 is greater than n. Now because we don't know the value of n and we know that it is different than 0, it can be any possible number and therefore we, we cannot state that this statement is true because it is not sufficient enough. So b is, in, is disqualified, incorrect. And C, let's see what C states. 2n is greater than m. So again, we are going to fill in what the value of m is with 2n. And 2n should equal 2n. And because there is a greater sign in between them, that is an incorrect statement. And our final answer, D, we'll write it over here. We'll see why that one is also incorrect. So instead of m, I'm going to be writing 2n plus half is greater than n. All right, so now if we subtract half on both sides and we subtract n on both sides to get all the variables on one hand on the um, left hand side and all the numbers on the right hand side, we are left with n is greater than negative half. And again, because we don't know what the value, oops, and because we don't know what the value of n is, we cannot declare that it is greater than negative half, and therefore d is also incorrect, and our final answer will be a.